Good morning, South Africa. It is Sunday, the 27th of February. We are on day number 703. I'm so excited to be with you this morning. Remember that we are now busy coming on to our next section where we are going to teach who God is and how does he operate. Because if we understand who God is and really understand it, we are going to be able to put our faith and our trust in Him. Remember so many times I've said, um, make God our source and our only source. Now I need to help you understand who are you putting your faith in? Who are you trusting? How does He work? What are the rules that govern His kingdom? All right, so that we can tap into it correctly and that we can see the blessing. So today I want to deal with the element, God is holy. God is holy. All right, let's go to Revelation chapter 4 verse 8. And it says this, The four living creatures, each having six wings and full of eyes around within, and they did not rest day or night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. All right, who was and is to come. Now most theologians agree, holy, holy, holy is the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But the point is, the creatures are calling him holy. Right through the Bible, you'll see God is holy. Now, let's start off with this. What is holy? Practically, if we say something's holy, what does it mean? It means that it is 100% correct. Okay, it means in its moral stand, in its decision making, in everything that you do, you are 100% correct. That's why the Bible says that we are, as, as believers can be holy. How do we become holy? Obey the word. As long as we are doing what the word says, we will be 100% correct. But remember this, God is holy in everything that he does. And so this is the concept that we struggle with because we have a struggle with right and wrong. We still have this battle going within us. God does not have that battle. God does not have a battle of what is right and what is wrong. Everything he does is 100% correct. Everything that he does is 100% righteous, the right way of doing it. And therefore, he is holy. And when you say something is holy, it is in its best state doing the 100% correct thing all the time. And so therefore, I want you to understand that if God does something, He's 100% correct. Every single step that He takes, every uh, statement that He makes is 100% correct. And remember that He has instituted a lot of things to help us through the Bible. And we'll get to that later. But I want you to understand that there is nothing wrong in God. There's not the slightest element of being able to make a mistake or being able to sit down and make a wrong choice. All right. Because God is holy. He's the ultimate perfect creation or being. All right. God was not created. He was from the beginning till the end. We'll deal with that later. But the point is he cannot make a mistake. Right now, often we will use terms like, you know, God got angry and we said he made a mistake. I will deal with that. He's not making a mistake. All right. He's holy. And therefore, everything he does is 100% correct. And so when it comes to us as believers, it's awesome because if I tap into God and I get what he wants, I will be 100% in line with what it should be. We can walk 100% holy. We can walk as God does. But I want you to start with this element and this idea. God is always correct. He does things 100% correctly and it is right. He does it the right way. He knows what's going on far more than you and I could ever. And so when we say we trust God, we are trusting God. We are trusting in a God that can never make a mistake. All right. He can never make a mistake. He does not make mistakes. He's holy. And therefore he does things correctly. All right. His whole attitude, his motive, his character, everything around him is correct. And guess what? It's focused on you and I. 
And so this morning, as we come around the table, I want us to celebrate the fact that we can serve a God who does things correctly. All right, who has our best interest at heart. So let's pray together. On the night that Jesus betrayed, he took bread and broke it. He said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. He took the cup and he said that this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical, emotional healing in Jesus' name. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, our protection, and our provision. So right now, as we come around the table, let us celebrate the fact that God is in control and that God does things correctly. And one of the things that he did was send his son so that you and I could have eternal life. Let's pray together. Lord, I ask you right now in the name of Jesus to forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, action, motive, intention. God, I ask you please to cleanse us of any unrighteousness. And Lord, I thank you that as we stand before you today, Lord, we stand holy, Lord, right, correct, clean in Jesus' name. But God, I thank you right now that we serve our holy God. Lord, we serve a God who does not make mistakes, who is not tempted by sin. Lord, I thank you that whatever you do is pure and right. Lord, I thank you right now for sending Jesus so that he could die for us, so that we could be part of this in Jesus' name. And Lord, right now, I pray that you'll make yourself so real to us. Lord, that we will realize that we serve a holy God and that you care for us and that you want the best for us in Jesus' name. And Lord, I thank you for, saying, for Jesus dying for us and rising again. Lord, I thank you that as we take of these elements right now, that we will celebrate the fact that we are part of this family in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together, saints. Lord, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus for a physical healing to take place in our bodies. Lord, I thank you that we are healed by the power of God. Lord, I thank you that we can resist and renounce and restrict any demonic and sickness that's working in our bodies right now in Jesus name we command you to go in the name of Jesus and we demand and command Lord divine health in Jesus mighty name in Jesus name we thank you that we walk in victory and that we are healed by your stripes we were healed in Jesus mighty name and everybody said amen and amen well folks I want to just just tell you how excited I am today about this particular topic, all right? I know that as we get into who God is, we are going to be so blessed and you are going to be able to sit down and trust Him, believe Him for the things that are happening in your life. Amen? All right, it is Sunday. I want to remind you, Pastor Don is going to be on at 11 o'clock. <coughs> Sorry, uh, 10 o'clock. Uh, at 10 o'clock, Pastor Don is on. 6 o'clock tonight, I'm going to be on. I'm busy ministering to men. All right, uh, we are preparing. Next Saturday is a national, international uh, prayer day for men. And I want to just get that ready. And so I'm going to be dealing with some of the responsibilities that God expects men to do. All right, so tonight I'm dealing with some men's responsibility. All right, if you are a father, if you're a husband, I need you to watch tonight to go and see what the Bible is expecting from you. Amen. All right, I want to remind you that uh, Lizelle, has also got the Children's Church English and Afrikaans. Go to Father's Heart uh, Kids. Please go and have a look and get those, those teachings. She's in the New Testament now, so we're really excited about it. And so please get ready for that so that you've got it as well. Amen. All right, let's pray. Lord, I pray right now for families. Father, I pray for each and every one. Lord, I thank you, God, that you'll give us a Holy Ghost rest today. And Lord, that as we mix with families and friends, Father, I pray your blessing, anointing and power to flow in our lives. Lord, I thank you that we are not going to be the same again in Jesus name. Lord, I thank you right now for the blessing and the anointing of God to rest on our lives. Father, I pray that you're going to do something supernatural in and through each believer in Jesus name. Father, I pray right now 
that as we come and pray for the families, Lord, that you are going to raise them up so that they will do what you are calling them to do in Jesus' name. And Lord, right now, thank you that the state of disaster is lifted in South Africa. Thank you, Lord, that we are open. And Lord, that, that masks are off and that we are free as a nation in Jesus' name. And Lord, right now, I come against any form of COVID, command it to die, dissipate, and leave our nation in Jesus' name. And Lord, right now, I thank you for your blessing to rest upon each and every one in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, folks, let's get to our declaration. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. So saints, I want to bless you. I want to commend you. I want to say, go out and release peace wherever you go in Jesus' mighty name. So God bless you. I'll see you tonight at six. Tomorrow morning, we're right back at nine o'clock with communion. God bless you. See you soon. Amen.